Take Time with our special guest, Kenny Hamilton. Yay! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, so thanks to everybody for sending in your questions. Oh, we got some from Instagram too. That's a first. Wow. Okay, so coming in from Instagram from, and again, I'm sorry for mispronouncing your names, from Courtney Eva, that's the handle. Has Justin, this is for you, has Justin ever asked you for advice? All the time. I know, I can't or, imagine yeah. why you would it. I <laughs> want to call you for advice. You know, sometimes it's people don't ask you. Well, yeah, no, he has a few times, but then I like to offer it. I don't know if you noticed, but I like to talk a lot. <laughs> So I offer it a lot. But yeah, there's always been times where like, hey, what do you think about this? What do you think about that? Well, your advice is feel good advice. Yeah. And I feel like you look at things from both sides of the coin. And I think that's really yeah. important. Yeah. Okay, from Chi and Coffee. Interesting. Did he ever, okay, so this is for you again, directed towards you, uh, Kenny. Did he ever run into any crazy Justin fans? If so, what was the craziest thing that you've seen a fan do? Uh, well, there was one mom in Miami who got a tattoo of Justin's face. A mom? Yeah for her daughter to get tickets to our concert down in Miami. So just to the get radio tickets? radio station, yeah, Y100 did it down in Miami. Where was and, the tattoo? Um, it was like on her, like the tramp area. Uh, is it, I'm one of those. That, it's that, all good. That, way, to go, way to go, mom. <laughs> Kinda. That's so for her kid, weird. that's a sweet thing to do. <laughs> Sounds a bit excessive. Okay, coming in from Justin Loff, L-O-U-G-H. Yeah. Okay, I want to make it in the acting and music industry. I come from a really small town. I'm young, but that leaves time for improvement. Aw, and time to reach my goal. I'm self-confident enough to say I have talent. My question is, how can I achieve this? All of you did. Hashtag Bree, Brett, and Sam, I look up to you. Oh, we love oh, you, Justin really Law. The best Start with thing you. I can say is believe in yourself and never stop dreaming. And there's a quote that I love that actually Will Smith said in Pursuit of Happiness. And it's don't ever let anyone tell you that you can't do something. Amen. And you hear a lot of no's in this town. That's why it's so yeah. important to stay true to yourself. And it can be tough. I have to pep myself up before certain shows. Some days are better than others. Because it's true, when you when you read certain feedback online or you yeah. you get inside your head and you can be as prepared as you want to be, you can put in all the work. And of course, that's a lot of it. You have to work for it and you have to perfect your, your craft. But then if you don't have the confidence in yourself, it's not gonna work. Right. Okay, okay. Oh, have to believe in yourself. Yeah. Advice from Bree, and then we'll go to Brett. I completely agree. And just, but try. Like, you can't just sit around waiting no. for stuff to happen. Because right. that, when I was young, that was my biggest mistake. It was just like, when are people gonna let me do this? Like, I'm so ready. A, I wasn't ready. Mm -hmm. And B, I just sat there in my room and cried about it. Like, I didn't actually do anything. Yeah. Like, you have to go audition. Like, you have to. If your parents won't let you, I mean, go out and do it anyway. Like, you gotta yeah. just do it. You do. There will be times when you're like, this is the worst. Yeah. And I don't know why I'm doing anything, let alone this. Uh, so wah, wah. just just allow that to, I, I, you know, you, you don't struggle too much with it. Just know that that's a fact of it. And then f try to find ways to look at it. You're not gonna change the things. You can change the way you look at them. He lifts my spirit. He sickens me. <laughs> Absolutely, because there's ups and downs in every profession, and you have to understand that those downs are a part of it, and oftentimes when you're down or something goes wrong, that's when you see the opportunity. So they happen for a reason. It's just your perception of it. Okay, coming in from Matthew KJAL. Okay. Um, if you had the choice between infinite time or infinite money, which would you pick? Hashtag boop. Wow. Jeez, that's, that's really tough. difficult. Infinite time. Yeah. Okay. Simple time. I don't That's know, what I'm saying. Amir, you're, you're in my brain. Yeah. <laughs> Was, yeah, if I, infinite time, like, yeah, then I, I, know I can get trends, I can get it down. See, I, I would rather do infinite money, be, not because I want the money, it's because I don't want to outlive my family and my husband. I choose a mortal life. And I would nope, die. You have to. Have okay. To. But you wouldn't die. Kind of <laughs> You're gonna make so many new families. <laughs> or I can, I can do so much with infinite money. I can end world hunger. Is the infinite time, like what happens to my body during that infinite time? If yeah. I just turn into a smaller and smaller turnip. <laughs> Benjamin Button. And just, then my, if I'm like, yeah. Okay, coming in from Facebook from Faith Herrera, what would be in your dream sandwich? Ooh. <laughs> this is so hungry right now. I just got so excited. What? Yeah, I did too. Okay. Oh my gosh. I'm going straight fat boy. Give me two pieces, two pancakes, some peanut butter, and some Nutella, and slap them together. I would eat that. That sounds amazing. Is that That's my pancake, peanut butter, and Nutella sandwich. That's Anything amazing. between two bread options, <laughs> something in the middle, 
is considered a sandwich. Right? That's similar to mine because I will take two waffles and right when they're hot, I will put almond butter in there, like yep. super raw, gooey almond butter, cinnamon, a little bit of raw sugar, bananas. It's the best thing ever. Cinnamon. <laughs> okay, so that's yeah. mine. A little bit of raw sugar, okay. bananas. Boop. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Um, Are you giving me two points? Yeah, you get two points. I for get that, two points. For your enthusiasm okay. and okay. overall outlook on society. Mine just has to have a lot of sriracha and a lot of pickles. Okay, <laughs> moving on from Nivindi. She says, What is something that you are OCD about, Pet Peeve? Oh my gosh, I am crazy OCD. I've gotten a lot better. I'm in control of it now. Was there one time where you're like, I need to stop this? Uh, when I used to have to, if I dropped one thing, I'd have to drop two more so I had a family. That was insane. So good. I got or, even yeah. worse than that. Okay, good. When I put emojis in a text, it has to coordinate. So if I do one smile, I gotta do two smiley faces, but if I do two, I gotta do like two others of something else to make it congruent. Okay. Wow. Here's the thing. There was a, you know, there's a South Park where Cartman, if he hears the beginning of a song, like I'm sailing, he needs to sing the whole song all the way yeah. through. For me, like, I, I used to just start saying Major League, the movie Major League, and I would just do like the first two minutes, not knowing that I was doing it. And you had to because you I felt like something bad really would... I would say it really fast. Like, good morning, have... gentlemen. Welcome to another season of Indians baseball. I know, man, I've seen the same without Donald here, but I promise you, by the end of season, my history. Dude, I can totally... No, this is amazing. What? I feel like that I can relate to you because every time I saw a pelican, pelican, uh -huh. I would have to say, did you know that their beaks can hold more than their belly can? And if I didn't, I felt like something bad would happen. <laughs> my husband... Hates it. <laughs> How often do you see pelicans? All the time in Malibu. They're yeah, everywhere. Yeah. They, yeah. They're okay. Always... OCD. Anything from Bree? Yes. When people, whenever people would sneeze, I would hold my breath and go like this, <gasps> so I didn't get it in me. Yeah. Okay. Coming in from Shaman Thays. Question for Sam. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sam. Sam, did burying all those animals in your childhood contribute to your vegan lifestyle today? Shout out to Tim and Elle for the awesome editing. Still love all of you and appreciate what you guys do. Okay, so I wouldn't necessarily bury, okay, when I would walk home from school, I would feel really bad walking by the roadkill. So long story short, I wouldn't necessarily bury all of them. And it wasn't the ones that were completely, I don't even want to get into it, but I would just make sure that they had like a proper memorial. And even when I'm on my runs now, if I see like a bird that has like, died or hit a window, I will pick it up. There's a lot of poop bags okay, good. on my run, so I, all over my run, so I can grab a poop bag, pick it up, and put it aside, and put some flowers on it. So I'm not necessarily digging Aww. graves and putting them in there, but I am performing little memorials for Do them. Do you name them first? No, no, it's not, it's not deep, it's just giving them like a, I'm sorry that you had to lose your life, and I love you. Okay, so I guess that's it for our Q&A. Big, big, big thank you to Kenny. Woo! We had so much fun with you, Kenny yeah. Hamilton. Um, lots going on. So where can people, if they want to continue to follow you, we'll have your Twitter uh, handle. But do you have a yeah. website too? Twitter, no. Well, my website is beatsmusic.com. Okay. Mm -hmm. Download the app. It's the best music streaming site in the world We right all now. just did. It's so yes. much fun. Yes. But Instagram, Twitter is Kenny Hamilton, K-E-N-N-Y. Awesome. <laughs> and thanks to you all. We love you guys. And we'll see you all next time on Pop Turner.